morning. Welcome to week 28 of BTHQ Banter. We have got our final week of our beginners sewing course today, so it'll be lovely to see what the girls make. And they're also finishing off their final week of knitted socks, so we should have a sock or two to show you um, by lunchtime. So this week's BTHQ Banter is going to be really short, I'm just warning you. We've got today's session and tomorrow's classes, and then BTHQ is actually closed for an entire week um, whilst myself and Elspeth jet off to the south of France. So I will try and get as much content for you without boring you um, and we'll see how much we come up with for this week's segment, shall we say, or episode. Episode, I like episode. Claire, show us. Yay, we've got a sock. Oh, look at it, look at it. He's all stripey and he's all, oh, well done. It's lovely, isn't it? It's really good. Yeah. Are you pleased with that? Very happy with that. Yay, well done. Love it, they're all coming out of the room with their finished socks. That's a gorgeous one as well. Well done, Diane. How did you find the kitchen a stitch? Oh, thrilling. <laughs> So that was a lovely morning as you saw we had some finished socks which is exciting and the girls have finished their three week beginner sewing course. Elspeth and I have um, been busy moving furniture around this afternoon um, and setting up unit two with our own personal machines uh, because we've got the lovely Sean coming next weekend, not this coming weekend but the following weekend to teach the Annette commuter bag. I think that's what it's called, a net commuter tote or bag. It's basically a giant handbag. Um, and she's coming to teach that here. So Elspeth and I are taking part in that as pupils, but we actually only arrive home from France about midnight, um, the night before the course. <laughs> So we've set up our machines, we are good to go. Um, set up all the furniture in here so it's all ready um, for the following weekend because after tomorrow's classes, which are all taking place in unit one, we will be closed for the week. So I'm heading off now. Um, I've got the rest of the afternoon off. I'm gonna go and test drive a new car, how exciting. Um, pick up the kids from school and what am I doing tonight? Oh, I'm having a ceiling fan fitted. It's thrilling things happening in the beautiful things world this week. Um, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Welcome back to BTHQ Banter. It is Saturday. Um, I have just got into the studio, so I'm just unlocking um, for everybody. So I always bring you into the dark back corridor. <laughs> to unlock the back door. Um, we've got a really lovely day today. Um, I've got my recessed zipper pouch class again this morning. Um, and again, I've got another four ladies who've been with me quite a lot. They've done quite a few classes. Um, so again, they should just have a really nice, enjoyable time um, and probably learn a few new techniques that they haven't learned before. This afternoon, Serena is in to make our lay flat drawstring makeup bag. And Leslie's coming in to try out our new pillow box boxes pillow boxes I don't think I showed you these last week I know you saw me making them but I'm not sure if you saw them finished or not um, but these little boxes that we make out of recycled loo rolls they're really cute I got the tutorial um, from the dainty dress diaries um, so it's not something I've come up with, um, but I just thought it'd be a really nice little activity for people to do. So she's gonna have a little go at that this afternoon. And then that will be this BTHQ banter done for the week because I'm going home to pack. Um, and I'm going to do a pack with me video because I want to use all of my packing cubes and all of the hanging travel organisers and everything else that I've made. Um, so I thought it would be quite interesting to show you how I pack for my holidays, um, but also using all of the products that I've made myself. Um, so that will probably be coming up on the channel at some point in the following week or two. Um, I'll probably get that done while edited while I'm away. So I am going to set the studio up now and uh, put the kettle on because the girls will be here in about 10 minutes. So the girls are busy top stitching their zips and up here we have a finished sock. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Beautiful, that's so nice Kate, well really done. Nice. Look you. at that, you cannot see no, it's beautiful. that join on those toes at all. Beautiful, well done. What are you doing now? Are you going to? you want some matching pair, so I'm finding the colour. You're finding the colour break, so you can yeah. knit another one the same colour. Aha! Uh -huh. I can't remember that make of wool that Viv's just put on her podcast, where you get that orange bit in the middle. They mark the actual wool. Oh, it's not a regia. Um, 
I will I will link Viv's podcast down below in the description and yes there is a make of sock yarn that has a break in the middle although I'm sure Viv will comment on this post as well. Lucy's finished her little bag, cute little butterfly print. It's a very zingy top that isn't it? It's like a limey lime. We've had a little bit of a hiccup with this one though, unfortunately. <laughs> as lovely as the fabric is, unfortunately Serena cut her width wrong and did her depth instead of her width. And so it's meant that the little recess section sitting a little bit too close to the edge. But it's still completely functionable. It's still totally okay to use. And you won't do it again, will you Serena? <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous fabric though. This is from Hobbycraft apparently. All these chickens, I love that. So while the girls have been sewing this morning, I've been busy knocking up some scrunchies. Um, I've done these two for a Little Miss Mac with Lilo and Stitch fabric. Um, I've made this one for myself and I've also made a big leopard print one. But I've got that in my hair so you can't see it. Um, so I thought I'd make a little tutorial. So this may well have gone up on the YouTube channel by the time you see this video. Um, I doubt it, um, but we'll see. I may edit it while I'm on holiday. So Serena's finished her lay flat travel makeup bag. Obviously it's just waiting to have its makeup in it and to travel somewhere now, Serena. Yeah. <laughs> Leslie's been busy making our little me time meet up pillow boxes today. She's done a little grey one which is cute and a white one and then she's done this red one but it's taking a little while to dry. But once all of this is dried clear, it will be really super pretty. Just ready for her to put some lovely little gifts in. So that's that. Another BTHQ banter week is over. And I am just going to lock up. For the week. Very exciting about my holidays. Um, so I have filmed a two tutorials actually today one to make our tea bag holders and another one for scrunchies i uh, can't see that in my hair i don't know what i'm pointing to um so yeah they'll be up on the channel really really soon and hopefully i'll have lots of exciting content for you coming up over the next couple of weeks um otherwise i'll see you in a week's time for bthq banter number 29 Thank you very much for watching. As always, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and please do leave me some comments down below. I always like to know what you're getting up to. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye!